نيمار ورونالدو وكل سنه هم طيبين ومزيد من الانتصارات والارقام والاهداف في حياتهم اللي جايه ان شاء الله زي ما قلنا احنا بنحاول نجيب الجديد نحاول ان احنا نقدم الحلقه بشكل مختلف ومن منظور مختلف معانا مداخله هاتفيه حاليا يعني هتبقى مداخله جديده معانا طبعا باتريك هوفمان صحفي الماني المداخله دي من المانيا هنتكلم مع حضراتكم هنساله هنساله الاسئله باللغه الانجليزيه و هنترجم سؤال بسؤال يعني اكيد هيوضح هيوضح لنا بعض النقاط اللي احنا محتاجين نعرفها الخاصه بالدوري الالماني وايضا ب محمد صلاح باتريك هوفمان هاو ار يو هالو هالو ثانكس فور هافينج مي باتريك فيرست اي وونت تو نو اباوت يور بانكس از هي ويل كونتينيو ويز ذا بايرن ميونخ نيكست سيزون اه نو اي دونت ثينك سو ام ذا 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 بوسز اوف بايرن ميونخ دي اسك هيم سيفرال تايم Uh, now for the last couple of weeks but uh, he always says that uh, after this season he wants to quit the job he wants to retire because he he thinks he's he's too old now he's uh, 72 and so he has no plan to continue the work after the season uh, uh, who you will think uh, will be uh, the head coach of Bayern Munich next season <laughs> yeah That's a really good question, you know. That's that's the jackpot question in Germany at the moment because there are so much uh, so many rumors. Um well, there there are many many names like uh, for example Thomas Tuchel um who was uh, the coach of uh, Borussia Dortmund. Yes, of course. Um and um he is uh, he's, he 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 might be uh, the the favorite to become the next coach of Bayern Munich. Um, but there are also rumors like um, there, there's a coach called uh, Nico Kovac from uh, Eintracht Frankfurt. He's a former player of Bayern Munich, so he knows the club, and he's very successful at the moment with Frankfurt. But well, I don't know if he if he really fits to the club. Um, and then of course you have uh, Joachim Löw, uh, the the national coach. Um, there are all, also um, rumors that maybe he could become the next coach of Bayern Munich. So. Well, very difficult to answer. What about Nagelsmann? Sorry? What about Nagelsmann? Ah, Julian Nagelsmann. Yes. Well, yeah. Um yeah, sure. Um he he's uh, also um one of the coaches that people think he could become the next coach. The thing is that after very very good season with uh, Hoffenheim uh, last year, now this year it's not that successful. and um also his club um the boss of his club now in Hoffenheim um said for several times that uh, Julian Nagelsmann is under contract till 2019 and there is no way that they will um leave him uh, that they will let him go to Bayern Munich but you don't know of course because maybe if Bayern says they they want to pay a lot of money for him then maybe the club would would say okay he can he can go But at the moment, if you ask me, I would say that he's not the favorite. I would say that the favorite is uh, Thomas Tuchel. Okay, I will translate this question and I will be back to you. في البداية سألته طبعا على يوب هاينكس هل هو هيكمل عقده الموسم القادم مع او هيجدد عقده مع بايرن ميونخ الموسم القادم قال لي لا وصل 72 سنة هو حس ان هو خلاص كبر هو موجود الموسم الحالي مع بايرن فقط لاحتياج فريق بايرن ميونخ لي وابرز الاسماء اللي ممكن تكون موجودة بقوة الموسم القادم لبايرن ميونخ هو توم ستوخل المدير الفني السابق لفريق بروسيا دورتموند باتريك دو يو ثينك ذات خوكيم لوف ويل بي ذا سكند او او ذا كامينج كوتش فور ريال مدريد بيكوز وي هيرد رومرز اباوت ذات ميبي خوكيم لوف ويل بي ذا هيد كوتش اوف ريال مدريد افتر ذا كامينج وورلد كاب Yes, uh, that's uh, that's a rumor that I heard as well. Um, it's a rumor that uh, comes from a Spanish newspaper. Do you uh, believe yeah, that, Patrick? Do you do you believe in the Spanish newspapers? <laughs> well, um, I I don't know this Spanish newspaper, so I I don't know what to say. But if you ask me, uh, I would say that no, I I don't think that he will become the next coach of uh, Real Madrid. I mean, um, Joachim Löw um, said before that. um he can imagine to become the coach of the club um the future so well maybe but uh, you know if you look uh, when it comes to real madrid um they have a crisis now 
Um, I don't know if um, if uh, Zidane will will stay uh, and will will be the the coach for the rest of the season. So I think they need they need a new coach um, earlier this year. And um, usually Joachim Löw, um, he I mean he wants to he wants to play the World Cup and after after tournaments usually he takes some time to rest for a, for a couple of weeks or even months. So I cannot imagine that he would um, become the coach of Real Madrid just a few days after um, the World Cup. No, I don't think so. Okay, I will translate. So, um, يعني سألته yeah. على خوكيم لوف كان في أقاويل بتقول إنه ممكن يبقى المدير الفني القادم لريال مدريد. قال أنا برضو سمعت من بعض الصحف في أسبانيا وقالت إن خوكيم لوف مرشح بقوة إنه يبقى موجود في ريال مدريد الموسم القادم هو قال لي ما أعتقدش. خواكيم لوف موجود مع منتخب المانيا كده كده خواكيم لوف عنده عقد ممتد ل 2020 عشرين لبعد اليورو كمان اللي موجوده بعد كاس العالم فهو ما يتوقعش تماما ان خواكيم لوف يبقى موجود بعد كاس العالم في ريال مدريد باتريك فاينلي اي وونت تو اسك يو اباوت مو صلاح هاو دو يو سي ذا ميديا اند ذا نيوز بيبر ان يوروب يعني انترست ان مو صلاح اند هيز بيرفورمانس ان ليفربول <laughs> well, um, of course, um, um, I'm following the news when it comes to uh, Mohamed Salah because I'm I'm very interested in Egyptian football. So you have to you have to be interested in Mohamed Salah because he's by far the, the best Egyptian uh, player uh, at the moment. And um, his performances in England uh, for Liverpool they are just amazing. I mean, he, he scored or he has scored 21 goals in 25 matches so far, which is unbelievable. He made history in England. Um, he is he is a cornerstone of of Liverpool's uh, squad this year. Um, so yeah, I'm 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 absolutely impressed, and and I think he can he can get even better because he has a he has a really good coach in uh, Jurgen Klopp, who is a German coach, and um, who has proven in the past that he is really good in uh, making talented players yes, even true. better. That's what he did in Dortmund, and I'm pretty sure he will do the same uh, in Liverpool. يعني أنا سألته على محمد صلاح إزاي بتشوف محمد صلاح في الصحف العالمية والأوروبية قال لي محمد صلاح واحد من اللاعبين المصريين المميزين في ليفربول نجح أنه يحرز 21 هدف كمان مع مدرب قدير زي يورجن كلوب قادر أنه هو يصنع مواهب وأعتقد أنه هو يكون هي لسه قدامه يعني كمان أنه هو يطور من مصطفى محمد صلاح uh, Patrick, uh, tell me about the chances of the Egyptian national team in the World Cup. How do you see it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, well, I mean, I think they have, yeah, they have one of the easier groups. Uh, How come? No, it. no, it's not the easier, Patrick. We have, we have uh, Russia, we have Uruguay, we have Saudi Arabia. Of course, very <laughs> strong teams. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I think, I think this group is, is okay for each yes because, okay is good okay, Uruguay, Uruguay is the favorite so they I think they will win the group but I think that Egypt has a really good chance to become uh, second place in this group because Russia isn't that good in Saudi Arabia as well the problem is that if they head to uh, to the next round I think they will uh, they, they would uh, face uh, either Portugal or Spain so that would be very very difficult but you never know. I mean, maybe yes. they will have a good day then, and um, yeah, will surprise the world. I asked you about the chances of Egypt in the World Cup. In the first place, the chances of Egypt are easy. I told him, "No, it's not easy. He said, "It's okay. I mean, it's medium. Uruguay, he saw that Uruguay is the one who is going to win the World Cup, and the chances of Egypt are easy. Finally, Patrick, I want to thank you, and it's a pleasure uh, having you on Al Ahly TV. Uh, see you inshallah uh, next episode. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. أكيد طبعا شكرته في في النهاية وقلت له طبعا كنا يعني يعني شاكرين ليك جدا وجودك لينا على قناة الأهلي وأعتقد إن كانت يعني مكالمة جديدة مكالمة بنعرف منها أخبار مصر وأخبار اللعيبة المحترفين خصوصا محمد صلاح في الدوريات الأوروبية. باتريك هوفمان صحفي الماني يعني اتكلمنا على كل حاجه ليها علاقه بالكره الاوروبيه النهارده اتكلمنا على تشامبيونز ليج اتكلمنا على محمد صلاح بشكل يعني مستفاض وبالتفاصيل
كان معانا مكالمه مهمه جدا جدا من كابتن هيثم فاروق اتكلم فيها على الشامبيونز ليج كان معانا بعض الحصريات وبعض وبعض الكواليس اللي كانت موجوده يعني قبل ما نختم طبعا لازم يكون موجود سريعا معانا الجداول